Longevity Lifestyle Designers, this is Zach here, and it is Q&A on Sunday, however, it's Tuesday, I realized that I was very busy Sunday, and then Monday was my birthday, so I decided not to do anything work-related, I had a day off, it was fantastic, it was a great day, I was with family, friends, and loved ones, and I uh, did a lot of recreational things that I enjoyed. And uh, I got some cool things. I got this uh, shirt, which is a hemp, sort of like light hoodie. And it smells amazing. I love the smell of uh, clothes that come from those stores that sell these kinds of things. They always burn incense in them or something. So yeah, the first question is from... Well, actually, both there's two questions, and they're both very much related. Um, the first one's from Charles Obama, and he's asking, What is wrong with meat? And right off the bat, I'll say I have my own opinions about this, and if anyone has other opinions, that's great. You need to do what you feel you need to do. However, we need to take in all considerations about this because I find a lot of people don't look at all the facts when uh, engaging in something. They just go either by how they feel or they go completely with the scientific evidence, whatever form that comes in, even if they haven't properly read the studies and know all the facts about the studies and whether there are flaws in the studies, even if they're major ones. So yeah, there's a lot of different variables. Um, and some of the things I'd just like to bring up is that, uh, number one, is that when an animal dies, uh, toxins in the cells are continually created, just uh, there's cellular respiration and there's uh, carbon dioxide being emitted from the cells as a byproduct of oxygen metabolism, and uh, that builds up in the blood, and it actually darkens the blood, it, it's a toxin, and it's not being released because the animal stopped breathing, the heart stopped, it's, the blood's sitting still there, but cellular waste is still being dumped into the blood, the lymph system, and collecting inside the cell. So any meat you buy, even if it's fresh and raw, it's going to have these toxins in it. It's not the same as if you are a predator and you're out hunting and you kill an animal and you start eating it instantly. Like, literally, possibly still eating it while it's dying. So that's living food. If you want to get into raw meat consumption, uh, raw living food is eating it while it's still living, which in the case of an animal it would be sort of still struggling, and if you can do that, by all means do that. Now obviously there are scavengers in nature, uh, but however they're very few, and usually they're bacteria, insects, etc. that break stuff down, but you know, there's vultures and things like that. But they're designed to handle the toxins that are created when an animal sat around decaying for a long period of time. Uh, when meat sits on a store shelf, it has those toxins sitting in it, permeating throughout the flesh. And, you know, that's partly, I believe, and what I've heard people say is why people get addicted to meat, is there's this narcotic effect from the toxins, from the cellular metabolism, throughout the flesh. Another thing we need to consider is curly and photography images of uh, animal flesh that have been taken. I personally haven't seen any. For myself, um, but I've heard Dr. Brian Clement talk about this, and I'd like to get a hold of some, either if anyone knows if there's a link of them somewhere on the internet they can direct me to, just post it below, and I'll uh, put that in another video or write an article and post those images in the article, or um, perhaps one day I'll commission someone who has one of these cameras to take these images for me so I can use them either in a video or on my website. And what I do have, if you check the link below, um, I have an image on my raw food article that you can look at that is an image of a cabbage both cooked and raw. And you can see the difference in terms of the raw cabbage having more biophotons and higher bioelectricity still present in it, whereas the cooked cabbage is already starting to look dead and black. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with what curly photography is, it it's basically a camera that can take an image of the shape of an object but the bioelectricity in and around it and to what level that is expressed in that uh, object or food or person, etc. So the Curlian photography of meat, according to Dr. Clement, it has a black aura. It's even raw. It's black. It doesn't have bioelectricity in it because it's dead. There's a, you can't call it living food because it's dead. <laughs> and then cooked, it becomes more dead, and it's got even more black of an aura. It's just like this black permeating thing, so it takes energy from the body. Now, yes, potentially there are possibly some nutrients from it. People get 
things from it. I personally have a relative that uh, came over uh, a certain illness through getting back on meat after having been vegetarian for a long time. And uh, there's definitely issues with people's metabolisms not being suited to sort of the typical grainivore vegetarian diet. And I think people that get heal healed from going in that direction, from eating meat again, it's because the grainivore diet doesn't, it wasn't meant for us to consume. Um, there are endless debates about what we should be consuming, so I'm not going to go into that in this video. However, we can make these uh, arguments about we need meat, what, but what is it that we need from it? Is it the protein and fat? Well, we can get those from plant sources, even if we want them in high quantities, if it's a metabolism issue. There's also animal products where you don't have to kill the animals, such as eggs, dairy, uh, bee pollen, honey, etc. Well, I guess honey's a little... Uh, doesn't have much protein in it, but bee pollen is very high in protein, so is dairy and eggs, and they're high in fat if you're wanting that, and you don't have, you can get a lot of these same nutrients and you don't have to kill the animal, it's more sustainable, and it doesn't have as a dark of a bioelectric field around it. 